Hello, internet friends. My name is Bay. We are in our casual gear, except Barrett here in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, but I'm bad. A maybe not as light commentary playthrough anymore for these bits. We're in the post game. We are in hard mode. Um, or the, sorry, the Genji gear with pieces from the Gi stuff and then the Pirates Jetsam stuff. But the Genji gear is an end game thing that I'm trying to get and purchase and, well, I guess put together. And we have to do all of the boss hunts again. So here's the first one. I'm just going to go in order. Now, is it the exact same boss? Okay. It's got a lot more health, obviously. It doesn't say it drops the special piece, though. This is the first time doing this, so this might not even make it as a video. It might be uh, wrong. I don't know how this works. <laughs> Whoops! I have to get away from it when it flies up into the air. That was way more damage than I was expecting. Although it's almost petrified, which is funny. Charge attack. Oh, Petrify fell off. That's lame. Actually. That hit that close to me? Kind of annoying. Let's do this. Let's do Shit. Wow. He actually kept going. That's surprising. I was not expecting it to go that far. Still up for it? Deal with that. I got this. You got this under control. That vortex sweeps nasty. Don't overdo it. All set. Okay. And stay on surprise. <laughs> no, no. Hey. Come 
so high in the air, man. It is so high up there. Ugh. Oh, yeah. So it still drops it. Oh, that was apparently also a cloud book. So there's a folio at every one of these, too. Oh. Yeah, it's weird. It doesn't actually say on the intel. So you just get something else because on the enemy intel. There's not like a different entry for hard mode, huh? So wish you can organize this damn thing. In the third game, can we get this organized by like region or by alphabetical order? Or just by times, uh, like the order in which you encountered them. Yeah, see, it doesn't say anything. Morphable, stealable, droppable. But in hard mode, they have a different drop table. And there's no other, like, there's no other intel here. Huh. So you just have to know that they drop both folios and the hard mode version of their item. We only have to do them once each because the Genji gear takes uh, one, 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 and one, one. And you can only make one of each of these. I'm pretty sure. Well, there's only 18 pirate jets in the whole game. So I guess the to Gungaga next for the Marlboro which we can kind of cheese by making everyone immune to poison so that it's as far as I know, we won't be able to get poisoned in its last phase. If I'm understanding that correctly. Okay. Wrong button. So Gungaga. The Marlboro is over here. I'm going to take a quick sit just for HP. We can't get back our MP via normal means, but everyone has been respect to have all of their MP regen. Now what you can do in hard mode as well is have one of your characters with the MP to HP swap. Is a, is a materia you can do this. I wasn't going to do this right now because I'm going to be doing other combat soon, but you do. I'll take this off and then you go down here. You make their HP, their MP, and their MP, their HP. So, badunk. If you did it at the start of a chapter, then you load a new chapter in, so you'll have full mana. And this character will have 8,000, for example, 8,000 mana, which you can use to use cure on outside of combat if they're in like an open world situation where they're running around with you. So you don't have to worry about wasting like time sitting or you can't use items. So, but right now, obviously red has only 77 mana because you didn't do this at the start of a chapter. So that's one way you can have a ton of mana to have someone healing you during the earlier chapters of the game. So I'll probably have Barrett do that early game. Yeah, there's a couple of things you can do like that to uh, have enough mana to sustain. Now, to make sure that that character is not going to go into any combat because then you'll be in hard mode with 100 health, <laughs> which is not ideal. Okay. This will be the Marlboro. Let's go do this. Now, do I remember which item it was? Because you can have... Reduces the duration of detrimental status effect inflicted upon you, which I might just put this on Aerith then. Where is the star pendants immune to poison? So I think I can just craft more of those. 
Yeah, you just make them. For nothing. So I think this is... will work here. I'll just do these two with star pendants to begin. Now on Aerith, I probably can just keep cleansing her. Because making her immune to silence, which is one of the other effects that this guy might do, is probably fine. Instead of making her immune to poison. Because she has a ton of magic defense compared to everyone else. Then we'll just do that. We'll make these two immune to poison. These two dorks. All right. Hard mode, Malmoro time. No sweat. You got this under control. You're up. Coming. Come on. Keep it up. Do it. Let me at him. I guess I could still scan it for HP. Oh god, I walked into it. Oh wow, it petrifies. Well, Cloud's got my cleanse, so. Stay strong, okay? And stay on surprise. How long is that gonna last? Oh, he stopped. Not petrified. Well, that's silly. So we to against ice though. Another swath of rancid breath. Is he turning? That was close. Glad it's still a frog though. You can do it. I don't like it being in that corner. I can't get around him easily. Should be immune to that. It's not immune to the damage. I was pretty far away from that, and that still got me. from us. I'm oh, still silenced. is no longer frozen. Let's hit this thing really hard. It's going to have to go into its... we will go into its final phase here soon. Just try to hit it really hard. Great Marlboro Tendril and the Folio, yeah. So each of them. All right. It's all about bursting him down. Can't. And Tifa's not even that good of a spellcaster right now either. Yeah, see, I could just have Red have 8,000 mana right now and it'd be no problem. <laughs> All right. And the weird thing about doing this whole chapter thing is that 
say like Tifa's got no mana, I had to save the game and reload the chapter and then go work on the other pieces that I need with full mana, which is what I'm doing to like, once you start doing a chapter and you're doing the chapter, you obviously can't do that because you can't keep resetting your progress. You have to manage your mana smoother during the whole chapter, but for this farming prepping for the end game section. Oh, let me make them. Be able to make the gloves now. Genji gloves. It breaks the 9999 damage limit. Which these. I wonder if there's more things we get from the transmuter. Because both of these will then take us to level 17. I don't know. All right, well, Cloud, you can go back to your. Limit break. And then Tifa, unless you have to really put these on on something else. NG gloves. There you go. Because I can't think of any better item to put on you just to sit and forget. I haven't tested this out yet. So she has a, a folio node that's the same thing, the utterly unbridled strength, which when you're at one stack of chi, 5% damage boost or uh, uh, attack power boost, and when you're at two, you get 10%. But it says with unbridled strength active. Now, I haven't tested this, because it's a little bit hard to do, but does that actually count for unfettered fury? it says imbued your unbridled attacks with non-elemental magic so does unfettered fury still count as unbridled strength because they are different and they do different things An unfettered fury is better for doing damage and increasing the stagger bar unbridled strength is better for actually increasing the stagger damage percentage alongside true striking so unbridled strength though the triangle attacks are meant to be used during stagger. Unfettered Fury is meant to be used to create. But I don't know if it counts for the her um, attack power buff. I suppose I could look it up. Maybe someone's figured it all out, but I don't actually know. Although, I can easily see Tifa now hitting for, I don't know, 12, 15,000 damage a hit when she gets her full combo rolling. The problem is, too, I'm recording all of this and streaming all of this when my game is still bugged. That's why we're party level 9. We're at level 70. We're in hard mode. We're in the, you know, setup for replaying the game through. But because the one bugged quest, the uh, ultimate party animal quest chain is bugged, we can't get that last 10 party level. Because <laughs> that last 10 XP comes from that last quest. So we can't actually unlock our last folio board pieces for hard mode until they patch the game. Or I have to, I can't do this because I don't have any other saves. Every, all of my saves have been on this one. I've just saved to the same file. The workaround is uninstall the game and reinstall the game with your PS5 offline if you have the physical copy of the game. Then load up a save before you ever did G-Bike. So the first chapter you have gone to the Gold Saucer is eight. You have to load up a save before that and then play the game from there and then the quest won't be bugged. <laughs> Which I'm obviously not doing. Not even, not even close. Okay. Not, not even, not even close. Okay, world map. Uh, let's go back to Junon. And this is the one I'm actually not looking forward to fighting is the Mind Flayer. So 
Yay. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot what the Mind Flayer casts. I'm going to look. I think I got to look through the whole enemy until I list again. You can page it. Um, mind flare, mind flare. There's Quetzalcoatl. Again, don't know why it's not. It's an order of enemy number, so that they'll have like a Pokemon number, but that's not the order you fight them in. There we go, mind flare. There's a stun. A stun, damage, does lightning damage, telekinesis, I guess, is that another stun? No real weakness, synergy abilities pressure, okay. Lesser resistance to stop, so I can actually hit it with stop and sleep. I gotta move around. I can hit it with stop a couple times. Like stop it and then hit and then hit with slow. That could be helpful. I'm assuming it's eye laser just gonna one shot. Or damn near close to it. But no real weakness. It doesn't cast any um disabling effects though. That I can tell. Need to check. Are we, are we? What are we? What are we using? What are we using? Are we using? Well, Tifa doesn't have any of that. Cloud has. I know he has time magic. Aerith is on healing magnify, petrify synergy, revival swift cast. I think she doesn't need auto unique right now. That's just for her to. And I'm not controlling her to use her arcane warp to warp away. But right now, give me some of that, uh, give me some sleep. Binding. I can hit with like a stop into a slow, or a slow into a stop into a sleep. That might be helpful. Okay. Mind flare time. Hard mode mind flare. No need to go easy, right? That's it. I like a stop around the rip here. Keep it together. Okay, let's go. Go there. You ready for this? Let's try out a sleep. I think you need more sleep. Mostly just to give me a moment. Yeah, it's kind of scary. You ready for this? You ready? Oh, it was a duplicate. I see. How about another? He's going to have a resistance to it, but how about another stop? Okay. Oh, the telekinesis. How about a slow? Need some synergy abilities here. Oh God. Okay. Go on. 
it's the AOE again. Or not? That did not do that much damage before. Okay, up and at him. Okay. But he's not stunned. Oh, come on. He wasn't stunned though. Whoa. Yeah, that's what I expected. Okay. He blinks off my screen. All right. This was the one that I was not excited for. I probably can set up that first stagger window better and one shot him. Okay. Okay. I think that's when, when he goes to that break, that's when you would sleep him. You sleep or stop him when he goes to the middle. Yeah. Just to interrupt the uh, cast. This ought to be good. Go on. Owie. You had your chance. Just gonna face tank him for a bit as Cloud so I can get uh, stuff set up. Oh god. That was my fault. <laughs> Whoops. I need to build up synergy anyway, so. Deal with that. I'll show you what I can do. Whatever. Bring it. One more shot. I'll take that. No, thank you. Hmm. Let's get this going. That's it. This one's for you. You got this. I got this. Now we get ready. Okay, she blocked it. That's good. They can do fireworks blade now. Hit him again when he's sitting standing here. And then he comes out of this. Could just be dead here. Better setup. I was still a little slow on the dumping my unfettered fury and going into a bridled strength. Nice. 
don't know why I can't go to the menu right now. I'm in pause mode for some reason. So that puts up the Vile Mind Flayer crown for the Genji earrings. The Genji earrings are weird to me because this is also something I'm thinking about. I was going to put on because I think breaking the 999 damage meter will help Tifa's limit breaks. But not her regular abilities unless I star shower between every single one of them. Whereas this breaks easily would make Infinity's Edge hit above the damage cap for Cloud. And especially, and again, it's, it's all about, I think, limit break breaking. But Genji Earrings, 15% flat damage, but increases your damage taken by 15. I don't know who the best this would be on. It's either Cloud, Tifa, even Red, because Red can just dump damage. I was thinking probably Yuffie, since she is the most agile. And this would increase all of her ninjutsu damage as well, which is crazy because it's just so much constant damage. And the Genji Ring is the opposite. Reduces damage taken by 15%, but also reduces damage dealt by 15%. This is obviously Barret or Red. Red's whole thing is about taking damage, blocking damage for vengeance. And Barret's is just for taking damage and then life saving or life saver tanking with his own HP. So that could be good for him as well. But although I actually do wonder, the breaking the damage cap, if it only really helps limit breaks. I might switch to the cheesy limit break strat once I do the Colosseum stuff. If you didn't heard about this before. Aerith's Limit Break level 3 is gives full LB to other two party members. So what you would do in this setup, start with Cloud with the Gotterdam run, which gives you at the start of combat a full limit bar. You have Aerith use Limit Siphon, sucks Limit Siphon, takes all of Cloud's limit, gives her LB3. You immediately then LB3 on Aerith, giving Tifa and Cloud full LB. You would LB, uh, you would use Tifa with the item. In this regard, it's a set up, giving her level three limit break, or if it's better to just spam them without breaking the damage cap, give her the item that allows her to just start with max limit break. Level, not bar. So there's two ways to do it. I think setting it up for breaking the damage cap could be better, considering all these bosses are going to have 100k plus health. Or using one... LB3 once set up and then hitting for, I don't know, 20, 30,000 in total with her LB3. If it hits that hard, obviously she needs to be bravery before she goes into it. And then if you could deprotect what you're hitting. So there's a couple of different ways to do it, but you can cycle LBs over and over and over again with that strat. And I wonder which one's better. More of them, but for damage cap or for one big one for way more than damage cap. I don't know. We need to go now to... That's the wrong button. Sometimes I reach to hit the, the middle pad and I hit the start button. Now, we've already done Gungaga. So we go to Corel. And... Do the Corel world boss, which was the Tonberry King, way over here. Be good on mana. I don't need to do any cheesy reset the chapter shenanigans. And we're fine. Now for Tonberry King. We have the Cowls. We only have one enhanced Karmic Cowl. So we'll do Karmic Cowl here on Cloud. Unfortunately, we have to go enhanced on Tifa, as I'll mostly be playing Tifa most of the time. This 
because she's gonna be getting, be getting poked, and this just gives her more defense. And Aerith as well. She's gonna have a regular one. That's fine. Just so none of us can get one shot by all the instant death nonsense. <laughs> If a mob has 170k health, that would be 17 damaged capped LBs to kill it. Right. Yeah, I suppose how much more than damage cap. That's what I want to test at some point too. Uh, once I have all the builds set up, I'm definitely going to do some damage testing of my own. I probably could look it up online, but I might as well just do it myself. Uh, I could just start up um, like Titan, for example, in the combat sim and just build up because if, yeah, if the thing about damage capping in this game is that Tifa's LB3 hits multiple times. And I don't know if each hit could be damage cap if you do all the setup or if the overall amount could break damage cap. And is that more damage gained? Because, yeah, if a mob has 170k health and if you're damage cap, then you got to hit it 17 times roughly with auto attacks and stuff to kill it versus if you did one huge LB three that broke the damage cap and again hit for 30,000 let's say in total damage and that's just one LB versus 17 chunking a mob for a fifth of its HP with one activation seems like more damage also a lot of bosses get um like we even did it on the end boss of the game. You get health gated where you can keep hitting them, but it'll gray out the health bar. So you have to, it's a cutscene's gonna happen, right? So in that regard, you could break the damage cap, push a boss right to a damage window where you're locked and then start another phase or start the cutscene or whatever versus hitting him with one LB and it just kind of moves the needle a little bit, but then you're still in the boss fight. So I'm pretty sure still setting up for an LB3 above damage cap might still work better. I think so. Just because it it'll it pushes so much more damage in one activation versus less activations over more time. I think. Well, again, in that how fast can I build limit break? In that setup I just said, you can have full limit break on Tifa at the start of the fight. You can start the fight with her having full limit break. But the way to make this work is if she's going to break damage cap, you can give her full limit break, but she won't have LB3 unlocked. You have to then use synergy abilities to build her LB to two and then to three. But then she would immediately be able to use LB3 once you build to that point. Because the other option is you can give her LB3 at the beginning of the fight, but it'll all be damage capped because she has to wear a different item. So that's the, the two things I'm wondering about is more at damage cap. Is that better than less at way above damage cap? And that's the... That's the math wonder is which technique is better or which damage planning or scope or whatever you want to say, which, which amount of damage is better. More limit breaks for less damage or way less limit breaks for way more damage. And that's just why I don't, I don't really know which is that much better. Also, Tifa now has 6666 HP. <laughs> Seriously? I just noticed that. 6666 HP. All right. Hard mode Tonberry King. I gotta remember to assess the tonberries. Now, I got you. 
Uh, interrupted. Still hit for 3,000 damage, though. All right. That's still going to land. Oh, you can't hit him? Sorry about that. That's strange. Stay strong, okay? What pressured him? Oh, because he Huh. Interesting. It's just this damage did. It made him drop his crown. He's gonna walk to his crown now though, so. You can you can stop him. Wow. <laughs> I forgot he does this. Drops pans on us. No! The sun takes two up. So that's the way it's gonna be, huh? That's annoying. You'll feel better in a second. You've got this. Keep it together. Let me Come on. Gotcha. I was not ready for all the ads. Oh, you only summons one. <laughs> ah, balls. Let's do this. Go on. Deal with that. Keep up. Take the lead. So it's my turn. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> um, might as well do this. You can do it. Deal with that. All set. <laughs> oh, I, they didn't cast it because I moved off of them and there we go. He's gonna stay here in time. It's on you. I'll show you what I can do. Hmm. You've got this. Okay, let's go. Damn, I couldn't do it in time. going after <laughs> our HP. That wasn't the too bad. You just have to, all of these hunt mobs, you just can't let them do what they need to do. You just need to blast the heck out of them. Okay. Yep. The one, one. All right. We got the Jabberwock left and the King Zoo. This <laughs> stupid, whoops. It's absolutely ridiculous that the pots kept falling on our heads. All right, we'll leave the King Zoo for last. We'll go to Cosmo Canyon now. Oh, we're going down there. I need to sit real quick. Can I have a, a bench, please? Just to get full HP. Yeah, I don't know if all of that that I was just saying translated well. I know it it sounds good in my head. The whole limit break discussion. But I well, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure what's better. And then breaking the damage cap might be fun. But I kind of think it's only gonna really matter on like. It may only matter on like maybe four or five bosses in the whole game. Because again, so many encounters, they go to a cutscene. They, you get health gated and the game will not let you just burst a thing down in you know, one activation of a limit break and a synergy ability or whatever. 
the game just won't let you just kill the mob because it has to go into a uh, a cutscene. So. At least the Genji stuff's here at the bottom. Yeah, I really don't... I don't know. I don't know what's what's the better play. I mean, uh, most bosses I'm thinking of that you could do that with, you would either get health gated or push them to a health gate and have to keep going afterwards anyway. I think it'd be cool to chunk a boss for... 30,000 health. Oh, whoa. Why do we have full... How do we get full mana? What happened there? I'm not sure how we got full mana. When we fast traveled to a new zone... Something is weird. Anyway, Jabberwock time. I'm just going to scan it. I forgot what it's weak against. Are we walking in our sleep? I don't know. Hard mode Jabberwock. This guy's all about petrify, so... If it's a fight you want, you got this under control. I'll well, probably need to cast a bunch of uh, resists. I got your number. Weak to fire. It is not immune to stop or slow. Hmm. Good to know. Also, only 61 KHP. Ready, ready. I'm gonna hit with a slow at first here. Keep it together. I'll take care of them. That's it. And then. Why don't you leave? Let me double time. Wow! Don't get against me. Let's do it. Can't stay on the Just gonna do this early so it doesn't happen late. the wrong button. Has its shield up right now. Copy. How about? I'm stuck on its tail. I wanted to get into the... <laughs> I'm stuck on a damn tail, man. That was so dumb. <laughs> Uh, hit it with another slow. Could 
could breathe on me or not. Oh, my infinite mana ran out. That's fine. Oh, man, just hit it. There we go. Not bad. <laughs> I can't believe I hit it with stop. And I couldn't get to the arcade. I should have just cast the arcane ward on Tifa. I was just clicking too fast. Because I wanted a double uh, Blazaga cast in arcane ward with no mana cost. <laughs> That's funny. That... That is funny. No oh, man. I still can't believe Tifa has six 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 HP. Alright, we'll we'll craft that item up. Let's get the Genji earrings going. So again, kinda don't know who I want to put that on. Cause I don't want Cloud to take 15% more damage. If he's in Punisher mode, Prime mode, it might cancel out a bit of his damage increase because he will be gaining 20% defensive stats, I think, if that stacks. Or if it's 10 and 10, it's like 12%. So we'll still take a few more percentage of increased damage. That could be okay on him. I still think it's probably best on Yuffie just because she's such a safer damage dealer. If you're, you know, saving one ATB for your brutal form or she has the best dodge in the game. Um, Yuffie has the best dodge and then Cloud and Tifa's are pretty similar. They're, um, Cloud's actually has a weird like jaunt, like a circular motion, whereas Tifa's is a straight line and Yuffie's is just fast, it's a dash. Uh, and then Aerith, and Barrett have the worst dodges. And then Reds is also pretty okay, but he rolls. So he I don't he doesn't just move from one position to the next on like an iframe motion. He rolls. So it's it covers more distance. But I don't I think he can still get hit during the roll. But I think Yuffie gets this. Which will be good for her in certain Although not having a speed demon keychain means she's gonna have a little less ATB build up, but her just doing 15% more damage all the time. But I'm thinking it's, it's a multiplier, right? Because when you doppelganger, it doubles all of your things, which means that under doppelganger effects, the Genji earring gives her 30% more damage because her and her doppelganger both would be doing 15% more. It's not exactly 30% more, 15 times 15. So what is that? 18%, 20-ish percent, something like that. Multiplicative, if that's how the game stacks things. But that's my thought process with her having it, is that she can stay safe and usually a ranged attack and she can double her damage of doppelganger, which I think is pretty damn good. All right, one more to go. King Zoo time. I still don't know how I got my mana back. All right, head up to Nebel, head way over here. Now this could be super obnoxious just because of it's a flying mob. I'll just give it a scan, just double check. King Zoo hard mode. Immediate swan song? Well, that's different. Oh, you can stop, you can slow it. 
It's immune to being petrified, but not immune to the uh, the stacking effect of it. Hmm. Hmm. Need to lightning. Oh, so this swirly thing again. I'm waiting. That's not gonna work. No, I'm for you. That's not. That's not gonna work. I'm just gonna set Tifa up with unbridled strength. Thought I was out of range of that, or like above it, or on the intercardinal of it, I guess. I thought I blocked that in time. Oh crap! Ah oh, crap! Oh okay, this is not not nice. Everything he does casts so fast. I have to slow it. I didn't get a chance to slow it in time. Well, Tifa can't res, so. Oh my god! Okay, now I'm mad. Okay. I don't think we'll just restart this one. All right, have to slow it, like right off the rip. Because everything it casts now is just nearly instant. I don't remember all those tornadoes casting that quickly. Just like says the ability now and it goes no off. Sweat. I wonder if I can stop. Can I hit with a stop right now? No. Yes. Oh, wow. Wait, did its wings? Oh, okay, its wings still did. Okay. I thought its wings didn't actually deploy. There we go. Just setting up some stuff here. Camera angle kind of sucks right now. Go on, let's do it. I believe it got any better. Yeah, come on. Big fast. Again, really? Victory is all guaranteed. You ready? Um, hmm. I'm just trying to immediately pressure it while it's doing this. Is that not enough AOE damage? Nope. Wow. That was not enough AOE damage. I was hoping that that would break the wings. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Definitely can't just AOE the wings down. Have to uh, blast the wings. And stopping it during that doesn't do anything. So probably a slow is just better at first. Then stopping it periodically here and there. Stopping or sleeping it. You're going down. Immediately. So we'll just do... You've got it. Under control. Too easy. Whoa there. It's 
on you. Maybe during Firestorm? Uh, immediately do another Swan Song. It hasn't spawned yet. The wings didn't spawn yet anyway. Should have dark side up before this. That's okay. about layering abilities nice well that is all the hard mode hunts completed and all of the genji gear created level 17 craftsmanship does that do anything there's no like transmuter chips we discover and no patterns like randomly plop into our inventory so what does that mean I don't know. This is like the highest level you can get is 17. There's no achievement for it or nothing. They've crafted everything. Huh. I don't know. It just is what it is. I got the power of the milk. Alrighty. I, I, I need to do some cheesy stuff and work on her final weapon ability, Noble Sacrifice. Which is easy to do. You just gotta let, just stand around and do nothing, and let people get low health or get knocked down, and then use noble sacrifice to res. It's the last weapon ability to learn, but she can't cheese it with reprieve, so it still knocks out Aerith. So you have to do it at the right time. But all right, that was all the Genji gear. That was all of the hard mode world boss hunts, whatever you want to call them, the uh, world intel encounters in uh, in hard mode because yeah they're all of uh got a lot of stuff left to do yeah it's all of these these final objectives thank you for watching you've been watching live of course don't forget i have the in by the time this video comes out the entire playthrough of the whole game which is 100 percented outside of the one bugged quest that I couldn't do. We did intimate Tifa date. We did every other side quest, every other odd job, every intel, every combat sim we could in the whole main game. And the videos that are coming out from this point on are going to be stuff like this. That is the hard mode, optional stuff, the combat sims, the musclehead arena, things like that. Maybe some of the boss fights on hard mode. I'll make a compilation of. But thank you for watching. There's a whole while else you could watch if you'd like to. We're over 500 but I'm bad videos on the channel. I'll see you in the next one.
Damn you, bug. Damn you. 